The following is an audio recording of the Baptiste Journey into Power yoga sequence. My name is Kevin Cross. Child's Pose. Come onto your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Take your knees out wide. Rest your forehead on your yoga mat. Alternatively, you can kneel on your mat with your chest draped over your thighs and your shins pressing into the floor. You can bring your hands beside your body or reach back and pull on the soles of your feet. In traditional child's pose, with your knees wide, your belly lifted and your chest resting on your mat, stretch your arms out over your head, about shoulder distance apart. And take five deep inhales, followed by five full exhalations. Downward facing dog. Press back. Bring your toes as wide as your hips or wider. Bring your hands as wide as your shoulders or to the edges of your mat. Take your eyes to the space between your heels. Press into your hands so your chest aims towards your thighs. Create a stretch in your shoulders, down your back, into your lumbar area. Allow your heels to naturally gravitate towards the floor and stretch both hamstrings. Deepen your breath and send the energy to anywhere that you feel is tight or stiff or holding on to tension. Ragdoll. Step to the top of your mat with your feet as wide as your hips or wider. Find softness, a slight bend in your knees and fold your upper body forward. You can wrap your hands around your elbows to frame your face, or you can interlace your hands behind your back, lift your arms off your back for a further stretch of your shoulders, your back muscles, arms, forearms, upper arms, Allow your head to be heavy and your upper body to dangle forward towards the floor. Release your bind, bring your feet together, halfway lift, place your hands on your thighs, take your eyes down towards the floor, create length from, create length from the top of your head, through your spine, into your tailbone, so your backside or your back is lined up with the surface of your mat. Tighten your belly muscles towards your spine, take a big breath in, forward fold. One full breath in, rise up, sweep your arms over your head. Take your eyes to your fingertips and create a stretch from the soles of your feet. Up through your body, stretch your side ribs, shoulders. Lift your chin towards the roof. 
and take a back bend for additional stretching. Bring your hands to prayer, the center of your chest. Close your eyes. Start your practice with one ohm. Inhale. Oh. Open your eyes, reach up, look up, stretch up. High mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift and lengthen. Palm your mat high plank, exhale low plank, upward facing dog, press the tops of your feet into the floor, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Bring your drishti, your sight, to a place in space either between your heels, or whatever your eyes land upon behind you. Allow your breath to be slow and steady, deep and free. Breathe in what you want to have happen. Exhale what you'd like to release. Breathe in, lift your heels. Exhale first. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up, sweep your arms up, high mountain. Forward fold, exhale out. Halfway lift, breathe in. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Notice and be present to any areas in your major joints that could still be harboring some tension. Shoulders, hips, ankles, elbows and wrists and neck. Inhale energy to any tight spots. As you exhale, allow that tension to float out. Your next breath in, bring your heels up, look forward, bend your knees, exhale, float forward, halfway lift, forward fold, sweep up, rise up, Tadasana, high mountain. Forward fold, pull your belly towards your spine. Halfway lift and lengthen, look down towards the floor. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Keep your eyes focused. Your gaze soft and your breath even. Inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. High plank. Low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, right step, right foot steps forward, left foot presses flat. High plank to low plank, lift your belly on your lowering, up dog, downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. 
High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Sun B number two, lift your heels, look forward, exhale, completely float forward, halfway lift. Forward fold, chair pose. Forward fold, lift halfway and lengthen, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, take your right foot up to the top of your mat. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one, take your left foot to the top of your mat. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Keeping your breath in, release on your exhale, out. Another breath in, deepen, full, free. Exhale, out, building momentum and heat. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, lift your heels, look forward. Breathe out, jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose, forward fold, halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, step your right foot forward, inhale, rise up, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, take your left foot forward. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Exhale out completely. Next breath in, lift your right heel to three point. Bend your right knee. Flip your dog upside down. Continue walking your heels under your knees. Press down with both heels. Lift your hips up toward the roof, making an archway through your body. If full wheel is in your practice, lower your right hand down towards the floor. Unflip, high plank, side plank, lift your left hand to the sky, look up, press out through the centre of your left heel, lift your left foot up, create the shape of a starfish, open your chest to the roof. High plank, low plank. Up dog, downward facing dog. Lift your left heel to three point. Bend your left knee, flip your dog over. Move your eyes towards the front of the room. Keep your left palm grounded. Unflip, high plank, side plank with your right hand lifted. Take your eyes up towards the ceiling. Stretch your re right foot high. High plank. Low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. 
Crescent lunge on your right side. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. You can place your left knee on top of a block or bring it to the floor. Or lift your left knee up off the floor. Hands to prayer at heart centre. Pull your shoulders onto your back. Twist to the right. Bring your hands to prayer or open your arms wide. Take your eyesight up to your lifted right fingers and rotate your chest towards the ceiling. Create a nice deep opening in your chest and your upper back. Crescent lunge, drop your hips closer to the floor. Open up to warrior two, look over your middle right finger Peaceful warrior, reach back, stretch your right ribs apart. Extended side angle, bring your right hand in front of your right foot. Use a block or bring your elbow to your right thigh. Your right shin bone should be true north, stacking your knee, your right knee over your right ankle. Your right thigh bone should be parallel with your mat. Make a long line from your right palm through your right shoulder into your left shoulder and extend up through your left hand. With the power in your lower body aiming towards the floor, rotate your chest up and out. Open up toward the roof. Side angle lunge, breathe in, stretch up, open up. High plank. Low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side crescent lunge, hands to prayer, crescent twist to your left, bring your hands to prayer, open your arms wide, continue working the pose taking your feet further apart, pulling your belly in tighter. Allow your breath, inhale, pull in, exhale, deepen the pose. And crescent lunge. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior, stretch your left arm up and back. Extended side angle. Set your eyesight on your lifted hand. Continue opening your chest out. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, high to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, lift your heels, look forward. Breathe out, float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair, Utkatasana. Bring your feet together. Parallel your thighs to the floor. Allow your shoulders to come up over your hips. So you're sitting in a chair that isn't there. Hands to prayer. Twist your upper body to your right side. You can upgrade by opening your arms or dropping into side crow. Keep your breath going deep. And squeeze your left and right body into center line. Chair. Set your eyes straight ahead. Squeeze into center line. Twist to your left. Open your arms or take side crow. Keep your breath deep and steady. 
Allow your breath to calm your central nervous system. Stay with the pose. Move back into chair. And forward fold. Lift your hips up to the roof. Take your feet to the side edges of your yoga mat. Fingers to toes. Forward fold. Lift your big toes up. Wrap your peace sign fingers around your feet. Pull your chest to your thighs. Allow your head to aim towards the floor. Release the tension in your shoulders, your upper back, your mid-back, your low back. Gorilla, slide your hands underneath your feet. Walk your big toes up to your wrist crease. Find the resistance between your feet pushing into your palms and your palms pushing back up into your feet. Crow, place your palms in front of your feet. Squeeze your knees onto your tricep muscles. Bring your big toes to touch. You can upgrade by bringing the top of your head to the floor or a block. Squeeze your body in and lift into tripod headstand. Once in tripod, flatten the soles of your feet to the roof, push up. Take a breath in. With control in your belly and your legs, bring your knees back to your triceps into crow. One breath in, exhale, float back low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, lift your heels, look at your fingertips, land your feet to your hands, halfway lift. Forward fold, rise up to Dasana. Samaste to he, equal standing pose, your true north. Bring your hands by your hips, lift your shoulders to your ears, and pull back. Set your drish to your gaze straight ahead of you. Eagle, right side, cross your right thigh over your left thigh. Bring your right elbow under your left elbow. Create a bind and a wrap with your forearms together. Eagle on your left side, cross your left thigh over your right. Bring your elbows up in line with your shoulders. With your elbows lifted, drop your hips closer to your standing heel. Right side eagle, create a new one, fresh one. Keep your breath steady and your drishti straight out in front of you. As you squeeze in, ring out, drop lower. Change sides, left side, last eagle. Samaste to he. Standing leg raise, stand tall. Reach for your right knee or your right big toe. Take your right foot forward. Open out. The trunk of your body should be at Tadasana. Aim the center of your right heel for the right side of the room and look towards your left thumb, which should be extended out towards the left side of the room. Look straight ahead, bring your right heel straight out in front of you. Extend your arms out wide, airplane. 
Move your drishti, your eyesight to the floor slightly beyond the top edge of your mat. Create a long line from the tip top of your head into your neck. Extend the line right down the middle of your back out through the center of your right heel. And pull your belly tight up towards your spine. Half moon. Bring your left hand down to the floor or use a block to bring the floor up. Roll your right hip on top of your left hip. Take your eyes up towards your lifted right fingertips and span the chest open to the roof. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Sweep your arms up, rise up, Tadasana. Samaste to he, equal standing pose. Standing leg raise on your left side. Reach for your left knee or your left big toe. Extend your left foot forward. Open out. Follow your eyesight beyond your right thumb, which should be extended to the right side of the room. Aim the center of your left heel for the left side of the room. Keep your breath steady and strong. With your eyes straight forward, bring your left heel straight ahead of you. Lower your left hip in line with your right hip. Airplane. Stretch your arms out wide from your shoulder socket into the tips of both fingers. Alternatively, you can bind your hands behind your back. Either way, power in your standing right heel, power in both arms, and stabilize through the power of lifting your belly up towards your spine. Half moon. Lower your right hand to the floor or a block. Stretch your, right, uh, your left arm up over the top. Look up. And forward fold. Halfway left, breathe in. Forward fold, exhale out. Rise up to Dasana. In Samaste to He, equal standing pose. Reset your drishti, reset your breath. Dancer, right side. Bend your right knee, bring your knees closer together. Kick your right foot into your right hand and lift your left arm up. Begin to take your upper body forward. Begin to reach your left arm forward while kicking your right foot into your right hand. Come back up, change sides, left side dancer. Maintain the steadiness of your breath, the ease and the softness of your gaze, straight forward. Right side dancer. Last one, left side dancer. Release to your mat, samaste to he, tree, right side, press your left foot down into the floor. And find a space 
on the inside of your standing left leg for your right foot. Try to avoid your knee joint and find the resistance between the sole of your right foot and either the inside of your left thigh or the inside of your left shin. Draw your belly in towards your spine, lift your ribs, your chest, lift your arms up over your head and take your eyes up towards your fingers. Move your energy up toward the roof. Left side tree. Begin with your feet, anchor all four corners of your right foot into the floor. Find the spot for your left foot to press against your right foot. Neutralize your belly and bring the power into your core. Lift up, open up, stretch up and send all your energy up. Release to the top of your mat. Tadasana, breathe in, reach up. Forward fold, bow, empty your lungs completely. Halfway lift, inhale. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side triangle, step your right foot forward as in warrior one. Straighten your right leg. You can place your right hand on your right shin or take your right hand to a block on the outside to the right of your right foot. On your next inhale, breath rise to standing, side facing, left side of the room, wide legged forward fold, turn your toes in, anchor through the outside blades of both feet. Take your upper body down to between your legs with your eyes open to the right side of the room. Namaste, front facing forward fold. Face the front of the room. Press the center of both heels down equally. Bring your hands to prayer behind your back. Fold your upper body over your right thigh. You can rest your forehead on your right knee. Or try pressing your chest to your right thigh. Twisting triangle, press your left hand to the floor or use your block. Lift your right arm to the roof and follow your eyes towards your right thumb. Breathe in, fill your lungs up. On your exhale, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, stretch your chest in front of your shoulders. Downward facing dog. Exhale, completely let your heels drop to the floor. Triangle on your left side. And set yourself up with your feet. Ground your feet into the floor. Find equal weight between your left foot and your right foot. With your feet grounded, press your feet into the floor and squeeze the muscles of your legs around the bones of your legs. Rise to standing, side facing, wide legged fold towards the right side of the room with a bind behind your back.
release your bind. Now I'm going to stay front facing forward fold. Set your feet up, both feet at 12 o'clock, both heels pressing into the floor. Rise up from your hip hinge and fold your upper body over your left thigh. Maintain your breath, deep inhale, release on your exhales. Twisting triangle, this time with your right hand down towards the floor and your left arm lifted. Stretch your chest wall towards the left side of the room that you're on or in. Inhale, fill up, high plank. Low plank. High plank, low plank, high plank, low plank, one more, high plank, shift forward, low plank, come to the floor. Rest your arms and your hands by your hips, rest on either your left ear or your right ear and shake your body, let your body have time to completely surrender to the floor. Locust, squeeze your legs, feet together, legs together, bind your hands behind your back and lift up. Extend your neck by looking down towards the floor. Breathe in, lift up a little higher. Exhale, come back down, shake out your hips. Fill up your lungs, empty out. Move your arms out wider over your head, locust. The only thing pressing into the floor should be your hips, your pelvis. Come back down. Bow, bend your knees, reach for the top parts of your feet, right where your toes come to the top of your foot. You can squeeze your thumbs into the soles of your feet, lift up. Stretch your chest and your upper arms to will stretch your chest to the front of the room, bring your upper arms back. Come back to your mat, shake out your hips. One more bow, this time bend your knees, reach for your ankles. Kick into your hands with your shin bones, open your chest to the front of the room. This whole series is about opening up your back muscles opening up the energy in your spine and igniting that fuel. Come back down, shake out your hips. Upward facing dog. Only thing on the floor should be the tops of your feet and the palms of your hands. And downward facing dog. Stand up on your knees for camel. Press your hands into your low back. Move your hips to the front of the room. You can keep your hands at your low back and open your chest to the ceiling. Allow your head to drop back. Or reach for your heels for a bind. Rise back up. Take a breath in and a breath out. Camel. Keep your eyesight on the roof. Keep supporting your back and your hips forward. Release, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Flow all the way through to bridge. Bring your heels up under your knees. Interlace your fingers and roll your shoulders into center line. 
come onto the meaty parts of the backs of your shoulders. Your eyes should be facing the ceiling and your chin lifted off your chest. Take a breath in, lift your hips up higher, exhale, come down. Six full wheels. Take a breath in, exhale, lift up for the first one. Five, four, look at the back of the room. Three, two, one, exhale, come down. Take a breath in, release your air out. Lift straight, up, straight back up, number two, five, four, three, keep your eyes focused, two, one, exhale, come down, breathe in and breathe out, lift back up, the third one, five, four, keep your eyes focused. Three, press down with your thighs and your feet and your heels. Two, one, come down, fill up, reset, empty out, go back up. Number four, go. Five, four, three, two, one, release to your mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Number five, off you go. Lift up, five, four, three. Concentrate, concentrate, breathe, two, one. Either stay up, stand up, or come back down. If you come back down, take a breath in, take a breath out. Last and final wheel, this practice, go, five, four, Three, steady your breath, steady your breathing. Two, steady your eyes, your drishti. Last big breath in, lift up and come back down. Supta Bada Kanasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to open wide. With your left hand on your heart, place your right hand on your belly. This is a neutralizing pose for your spine. Allow all of the energy to release down into the floor. And happy baby, you lift your knees, grab the outside of your feet, create the resistance with your hands and your feet, pulling and pushing. Open your knees to the sides of your ribs and use your elbows to pry your thighs open a little further. Now you move to the abdominal section and 30, 60, 90, lift. Bring your heels up to the roof, squeeze your legs together, flex your toes back towards your face, and lower 30 degrees. Lower to 60 degrees. Hover your heels four inches off, your, off the floor. Come back up to 60 degrees. Lift back up to 30 degrees. Come all the way back up. Bring your toes together. Separate your heels. Lower 30 degrees. Lower to 60. Lower to 90. Come back up to 60. Back up to 30. All the way back up. Heels together. Toes wide. Lower 30. Lower 60 degrees. Lower to 90 degrees. Come back up to 60 degrees. Keep your breath going. Come back up to 30 degrees. Come all the way up. Drop your left heel so it rests four inches off the floor. Keep your right foot lifted. Pulse towards your right toe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, change legs, post your chest to your left big toe, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Change sides, go again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides, go for the last set. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull your knees into your chest. Take a breath in. Release out and set your knees over your hips with your toes pointing to the roof. Bring your hands behind your head interlaced and we'll go on a bike ride. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Almost there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull your knees into your chest, and at this point, you can push pause and do fifty more bicycles. And then push play, and we'll pick back up. Rise up for boat. Lift your toes. Hold behind your knees. Or lift your arms and open your chest to the front of the room. Keep your breath on and your eyes steady. Hands to prayer at heart center. With control, lower into canoe, low boat. Rise up for boat. Steady your gaze, steady your breath, and pull your belly tight towards your spine. Lower into canoe. Third and last boat, rise up. Lower into canoe. Release to your mat. Half pigeon, right side. Bring your right foot forward. Line the, the, your shin up with the top edge of your mat, right shin. Slide your left leg all the way down the left side of your mat. And settle your chest to the floor or a block. Ensure that your hips are even, left and right hips lifted to the same level. If your right hip dips down towards the floor, use a book or something to lift your right hip up. Surrender your chest down towards the floor on every exhale. Pull power and energy to your right hip joint with every inhale. Release all the tension that's in there. Left side, half pigeon, change legs. Lengthen your right leg down the right side of your mat. Inch your left toes towards the top right corner of your mat so that your left shin bone aims towards the front edge of your mat. Keep, breath, keep your breath deep and steady. Every inhale, pull in. Every exhale, release deeper. The breath is bringing in what you want to have happen. With your exhale, you're releasing to make room for the next inhale. Make room for the next possibility. Frog. 20 breaths in your frog. 
Bring your knees underneath your hips. Walk your knees straight out from that point. Your chest can be rested on a bolster, on the blocks. You can rest on your left ear or your right ear, but keep your breath deep and steady. This is an opening for your hips, a release of emotions, a release of emotional tension. There are energy centers throughout our body and most of the bigger joints, wrists, elbows, hips, shoulders, back. All of those joints hold on to the energy that has not, has not been released. Particularly the hips. The hips hold on to our emotional beings. And I invite you to push pause and go deeper and longer if you choose. And when you're ready, come into double pigeon. Sit facing the front of the room. Place your right shin on top of your left shin like fire logs. Take your right heel outside your left thigh. And you can either sit straight up with both hands flat to the soles of your feet or begin leaning forward, opening your hips even more. This is another opportunity for a twist. You can place your right foot flat on the floor outside your left thigh. Your right knee lifted. Use your left elbow outside your right knee and twist towards the right side of the room. You can anchor through your right palm. Keep twisting the center of your right chest to the back of the room. And change sides. Put your left shin on top for double pigeon. Take your left heel outside your right thigh. And either grab the underside of your feet or press into the underside of your feet with your palms or Take your twist on this side. Place your left foot flat to the floor on the outside of your right thigh. Anchor your right elbow outside your left knee. Twist towards the left. Either way, it's a good opening for your hips and an inner rinsing for your torso if you're in the twist. Seated single leg extension, extend your right leg, place your left foot on the inside of your right thigh, rise up from your hips, breathe in, reach up, exhale, fold your chest over your extended right leg, keep a micro bend in your right knee. You can bind your hands around your back, bring your hands to both hips, you don't have to reach forward for your right foot. The point of this pose is to keep your shoulders on your back, to be lifted from your hips and to release forward. This whole series is about releasing, letting go. Inhale, rise up, change legs, change sides, this time with your left foot extended or left leg extended, press in to your left thigh with your right foot. Rise up, lift up, exhale over your extended left leg. If you want to twist, you can bring your right hand outside your left foot. Twist your chest towards the left side and lift your left arm up. Or bring your left hand around your left foot. Lift your right arm up, twist your chest to the right side. And if there's room, lean your left hips 
I mean your left ribs over your left thigh and reach your right arm for your left foot. Rise to standing, seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Bring both feet together, point your toes to the roof, fold your chest over both legs. Rest your forehead on your thighs, allow your shoulders to relax. Upward facing table, walk your heels under your knees, bring your hands, your palms underneath your shoulders and level your hips up with your knees and shoulders. Find extra space by dropping your head back. Alternatively, you can walk your feet straight out in front of you, press your feet, the tops of your feet down to the floor for, for plank, reverse plank. Lower into fish, bring your forearms to the floor, elbows underneath your shoulders. Open your chest, lift your chin, take your eyes to the back of the room. Climb into an inversion of your choice you can choose a shoulder stand. Keep your hands at your low back. Bring your elbows toward the center line. And using the foundation of your upper arm bones and the meat of your shoulders, lift your hips straight up, making a long line. Be sure to flatten the soles of your feet to the roof and push upward. The other alternatives to an inversion are happy baby, Waterfall with your hips rested on a block. Shoulder stand, push through your heels. Gradually lower your toes to the floor behind your head for plow. Bring your knees to your temples or your ears for death man's pose. Roll out onto your mat for spinal twist. Move your knees to the left side of your mat. You can take eagle legs, cross your right thigh over your left. Extend your right arm and look towards your right thumb and beyond. Allow your chest to twist over to the right while your knees are moving to the left. And feel that twist and that energy opening up your back. Come through center, change the orientation of your knees. You can take your left thigh over your right, move your knees to the right, twist your chest, your heart over to the left. Look beyond your left thumb. And one more pose before we finish practice Butterfly. Looks like Supta Baddha Kanasana with your heels towards your navel, your hands grabbing the tops of your feet. You can use your elbows to open your thighs like a book, but keep your back, your upper back, the back of your head on the floor. This is a good opportunity to use your breath to lower your tailbone down into the floor as you rock from side to side, creating softness 
surrender for your whole body, muscles, bones, joints. Let the tension just begin to start releasing down into the floor. Let go of your feet. Take your feet to the front two corners of your mat. Open your arms up wide and surrender into Shavasana, corpse pose. must find our truth we're so long overdue so for tonight we pray for what we know can be much to be thankful for. Even with our differences, there is a place we're all connected. Each of us can find each other.
this world needs so much more. There's so much to be thankful.